Hello friends, welcome to Trish Tech Institute and in today's safe storage episode, I'll be discussing about the second method of your powering down and rebooting safe storage cluster. So if you have seen already my previous episode where I have discussed the same thing, but in that case it was via system CTL. So that was the first method. So second method for uh, latest safe versions is using via safe orchestrator. So in this video, I'll be seeing the demonstration how you can uh, power down or reboot your safe cluster using safe orchestrator and for today's episode i will be using fedora 37 as the base os for my safe cluster and i'll be using safe queen c that is a community edition version as my safe cluster version so let's start the demo so for demo i have already logged into my uh, admin node so that is part of the cluster also so then i'll switch to root and i'll be logging into safe adm shell so first thing what we do we check the safe status so once you do safe status you should see the health as okay and all your services and everything are should be running properly there should not be anything like out of codam or some osd is down and all so once you are sure about the so once you are sure about that uh, status of your cluster then you should move to the second part that is stopping all the clients so if you have any client who is uh, using rbd as a block device so you should unmount that or if you are having cffs mounted to some clients you should unmount them and if you have any client connecting via rgw you should uh, stop those clients from using the cluster via rgw so as in my case i don't have any client configured so i no need to do all those things but in your case you need to do that so once you are done with uh, all the client stop so that you ensure that there is no more new data or any connection is happening to the cluster then you need to set up few osd flags so which i have seen in my previous video also so let's set those things so save osd set no out then uh, no down then uh, no recover then uh, no balance sorry no backfill no rebalance and then at last once you're done with setting up all these things then we set uh, cluster into pause state so that you don't allow any new data writing to the cluster so once you're done with these things then we'll be checking what all uh, services are running so for that save org ls if you do so you can see like in my case i have alert manager crash grafana mon mgr osd prometheus and rgw all these things are running so first thing what you, i will be stopping here i should stop the client related services so in my case that is rgw so stopping that is very easy so sf org stop rgw dot my rgw so once i run this you will see what all places it is running so sf2 sf3 both the nodes it's scheduled to stop so if i now again do sf org ls I should see my RGW is gradually getting stopped. So once you are done with RGW, then you should move to the other services. So for that, chef org stop alert manager. So it will be stopping the monitoring related. Uh, services then once you are done with alert manager then we do node exporter so it will stop all the node exporters then i'll be stopping the prometheus and then grafana so prometheus done then i'll be stopping grafana so all these things are stopped then i'll be stopping the crash so chef org stop crash so it will stop all the services running for 
crash once this is done then you have to stop the OSD so if I do save org ls so you'll see like most of the services are running 0 0 only you can see mon mgr is running and also OSD is running so there are six OSDs so for OSD will not be stopping like how we are stopping here we'll be stopping one by one OSD so for that save OSD DF tree I'll do I'll stop one by one so save org daemon so you notice here that I am adding a new option called daemon so save org daemon stop I'll do first OSD dot one so one by one node I'll be doing then I'll be doing dot five then zero then four then two then three so it may take some time uh, depend on that load and all how the data is there so you can do that save org ls and you should see all the OSDs are stopped so you can see here zero OSDs are running then once uh, that is done then I'll be stopping the monitor service so chef org ps hyphen hyphen daemon hyphen type mon so it will give me what are all places mon is running so i need to stop the monitor services so i can stop the mgr also and monitor also so mg stopping is not required so i'll be then do system ctl then i'll grab for mon so system ctl stop monitor so similarly i'll be doing for other two host also system ctl grab mon system ctl stop mon here then i'll go to the my third node so save three so there also i'll be doing the same thing system ctl grip for mon and then i'll stop that so once done with this all these things then i should stop the server so here system ctl power off all the services are done so then i'll power up my second node system ctl power off and then i'll be powering off my remaining last node system ctl power off so once you're done with all this node power off then only you should power off your admin node so the order should be first you should stop the client related services like rgw mds then you should stop all the monitoring related services like alert manager node exporter prometheus grafana crash and then you should stop all the OSDs and then once the all the OSDs are stopped then you should stop your monitor and manager services so once you're done with this all the nodes you can then power off or reboot now remember when you will powering on you no need to start the services because it are all the services are marked as auto start so you should see all the services are coming up properly so let's power on the services so I'll be powering on one by one node. So these are the three nodes. I'm just powering them on. So it will take some time, maybe a couple of minutes or maybe one or two minutes. And then I should see all the three nodes are backed up. So let's see, go back and check whether the nodes are accessible or not. So this is my first node is still not up. So let's wait for some more time. Uh -huh. It is up now. So it may still take some more time to power on all the three nodes. So let's check back save ADM shell. I don't need to start any services. So I'll do save hyphen S and I should see what is the status whether all the nodes are up or not. So still they're powering on and all the services are getting started. So that's why safe status is taking time. But once all the services and nodes are up, I should be able to see the status and see whether my services are started properly or not. So as you can see, uh, chef status is now showing 
uh, still showing health warning because I have set those parameters flags. But if you see the monitor services, all three are up and all the nodes are in codem. My manager is up. My all the six OSDs are up and everything is all the PGs are in active clean state. So if I do, do save org ls, I should see all my services are into running state. So it may it taking time because all the nodes just came up so just wait for some time so once all the services are up you check from the safe status that uh, all everything is started then i'll be setting up back those uh, osd flags so what you can see on in this health line so i'll do safe osd set sorry unset no out no down, no rebalance, then no recover, no backfill, and then unset pause. So once we are done with all these changes, if I do now save status, I should see health is okay. So as you can uh, notice here that once I power on the ser uh, servers, I didn't start the service because they are marked to start automatically. That's why I didn't start. So once your cluster is back to health okay status, you removed all the OSD flags, then you should start connecting back all the clients so whether you are using that as rbd so mount the rbd images or if it is ffs so mount the safe CS, or if it is rgw you start connecting via rgw either using s3 or swift api so let's uh, recap the steps so first we stop the client then set the osd flags then stop all the client related services like mdas or rgw once that is done, then stop the OSD nodes one by one and then stop the monitor nodes one by one. And at last you stop the admin node and then power off the all the nodes. And then when you're powering on, first you power on your admin node so that you can start manage your cluster from there and then power on the monitor. Once the monitors are up, then OSD, then gradually RGW and MDS nodes. So in my case, all are running on the same, all three nodes, so that's why I didn't do like that, but in a production cluster, you will usually have OSD is running on different node, your RGW MDS are running on different nodes. So you have to follow like this order to bring them up. So once they are up, then you unset the OSD flags and you verify the cluster health. Your cluster health should be active, okay, and all the PG should be active clean once that is done then you start bringing back your safe fs if you have anything you start them and then you start connecting back the clients to your cluster so hope uh, this session is informative for you and it helps you to understand how you can uh, manage your cluster and power them off or reboot them especially this will be helpful if you are doing during your patching or any maintenance activity so this will ensure that you are doing a graceful power off or reboot of your cluster nodes and avoid any unnecessary issues so thank you thanks for watching this video if you like this please press the like button and also use the comment section to let me know why uh, you like it if you don't like also let me know that why you didn't like so that we can improve on those points and come up with a better uh, tutorial videos in the next episodes so thank you thanks for your time if you have not watched uh, subscribe this channel yet please subscribe to it and press the bell icon so that you get notification of all the upcoming videos so bye see you in our next video